What's up, folks? My name is Felix. Welcome back to another video about the BNB miner, where we take a look at the current numbers because those clearly show that we are in another growth cycle. And I also want to talk about a whale, the biggest whale in our last growth cycle, which really messed up his account balance. And I want to show you what you definitely not should do because this whale messed up his whole TVL as well as his whole earning potentials. And he is probably already regretting it and will regret it even more in the long run because we all know the BNB miner is there for the long run with 933 days of runtime. And if we get into another bull run, all eyes will be on this project because it pays up to 3% daily and this already since those 933 days. So let's get right into the numbers and compare them in the beginning to my last video which I uploaded on the 6th of October here. We can see the contract balance was sitting at 556 BNB. Now we are up almost 40 BNB in those just last six to seven days. And not only that, if we take a look on the number of new investors, we were sitting at 27 0.53k and currently we are sitting at 27.569k which means roughly 40 new investors five to six people per day which are joining the bnb miner currently and even better are the numbers if we take a look on the chart so we had this growth cycle last time where we had the bottom of around 480 490 bnb and went above 1k bnb now we again had a bottom of around 490 bnb and we see continued support from the whole community from new people which displays in new deposits new bnb which are flowing into the contract for example in just the last three days added up we had deposits of over 60 bnb compared to withdrawals of around 30 bnb which means double the amount which got added to the contract balance of the bnb miner which also shows in my statistics, I went up to 56 quadrillion miners and my total value locked also climbed by around 1 BNB in those just around 6 to 7 days now. And daily I'm getting an expected of 0.33 BNB. So let's jump over to that side because I found some interesting behavior of some of the investors before we get into the behavior of the whale I already mentioned in the beginning. So if we scroll down on this page, I already mentioned that in my last update video here on the bottom, you can see the top deposits as well as the top withdrawals where you can track those wallets, what they are currently doing. But the more interesting part, at least for me, is this one here, because there are literally people which are withdrawing for one cent, for 11 cent, for 44 cent. And I'm asking myself, people, why are you doing this? This doesn't make sense. Why are you not just building your bags for another bull run? This will lead to nothing to withdraw such amounts because the gas fees on the Binance Smart Chain are sometimes even higher than those amounts. So let's get right into the behavior of this whale because it's very interesting and I think this whale messed up his account massively. So this whale again deposited all in all 190 BNB around 111 days ago, which was in the end of June and the beginning of July. Then of course he compounded a lot, he sold a lot and over the last couple of weeks he decided just to sell his eggs, just to sell his miners, so to withdraw BNB. And what this led to is very simple if we take a look at this transaction, he is just getting around 0.56 BNB from his last withdrawal and he accumulated his rewards if we compare those dates here, those timestamps for 38 hours roughly. That means he accumulated just 0.56 BNB in 38 hours. So let's do some calculations on that if his behavior makes sense and how tiny his TVL now is compared to his initial investment of 190 BNB. So if we take those 0.56 BNB and multiply this by 100% divided by three, because 3% 3 is the maximum you can get if the contract balance is going up and if everything is right in the BNB miner, you will get to a total value locked of roughly, let's round it up to 20 BNB. And again, this have not been 24 hours, this have been 38 hours of accumulated rewards. So if we take those roughly 20 BNB, multiply that by 100% and divide them by the initial deposit of 190 BNB, that means this wallet has a 
value decrease of 90% because those 20 BNB in the current total value locked of this wallet is 10%. Of course, I have to mention at this point, because I did my calculations before I made this video, that this wallet already sold some BNB, which should be around 120 to 130 BNB, which it already got back from the contract of the BNB miner. This means those 130 BNB plus 20 BNB is 150 BNB. So still 40 BNB to go to reach the ROI. And with a current withdrawal amount of just 0.56 BNB, which will of course go further down over time because this wallet, as we can see, is just selling over the last weeks. And that should be a warning to all of you guys who don't want to shrink that total value locked. Just play this project responsible. And one way that worked great for me is very simple. I, for example, just compound if the contract balance is going down. I don't take any profits. And if the contract balance is going back up, I take profits along the way. That's at least what worked for me over the last 18 months since I'm invested in this project. And while my total value locked didn't go down to almost nothing, no, it grew from 0.4 BNB initially to now almost 11.3 BNB. And in addition, I earned 3.9K from this project, which you can, for example, also see in this video, which I made about the BNB miner. So that should hopefully give you some input what you don't want to do in this project to not get washed out. In the end, I think we are all here for the long run and want to support this project. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. If you like today's video, it would be great if you can hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future videos on the BNB Miner or other DeFi projects, you might also want to subscribe because I release them almost on a daily basis here on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.